we would like to use C Sharp and Camel to query the list items in SharePoint. You remember we have already done it in another video, but the difference is today, instead of using SP Query and using the server side code, we would like to use client side object model. Let's get to work. We start by creating a Windows Forms project, then we add a text box and a button to it, and we add references so that we can write the code using the SharePoint client side object model, and then we run and test the project. We are running this demo on SharePoint 2013 on VM. We are using Visual Studio 2015 Enterprise Edition. And we have a team site on SharePoint with a custom list to query. And here is our list called products. So we would like to query this list based on the title field. First, we create a Windows Forms project. In Visual Studio, File menu, create a new project. And I call it uh, Camel CSOM demo. And it's under C Sharp, Windows Forms application. I just click OK. We created our project. Now we need to add a text box on the button. I get back to my form, and on the top of the form, I just put a button, and I call this button execute. Let me give it a proper ID. BTN execute and right under it I add a text box I just make it a little bit larger and I make it multi-line so that I can expand it there we go now it's time to add references to write the code using the SharePoint client object model. To add the reference, I need to right click on the references in the project and I would say add reference. We need to add Microsoft.SharePoint.Client.Runtime and Microsoft.SharePoint.Client. These two DLLs need to be added. I see it here because I use these two libraries a lot. So to browse it and to find it, you need to go to Program Files, Common Files, Microsoft Shared, Web Server Extensions, 15, and under 15, you go to under ISAPI, and you will find the Microsoft.SharePoint.Client and Microsoft.SharePoint.Client.Runtime. These two, they need to be added. And I just click OK. So now I have all the DLL references in this Windows Forms application to connect remotely to a SharePoint website. And oh, the one more thing that I forgot, I wanted to change this text box's name and give it a proper name called TXT Query. Let's double click on the execute and start writing the code. To write this code, first of all, I need to add a reference using Microsoft.SharePoint.Client. One thing that you may notice is that as soon as I add this reference, I get an error about ambiguous reference between the SharePoint client form and the Windows form. To avoid this, I'd rather define an alias for it. So I call it SP client equals this. So I will just use this prefix for any object that I defined from now on for the SharePoint client object model. So I scroll down and I start writing my code. I start by defining a client context. Okay, and I call it CTX equals new SP client dot client context. It's asking for a URL so I get the URL from the website that I'm working on. And I just paste it here. It's a lot more elegant writing the code with using syntax. Using and, and there's my code. As soon as I define the client context, I have a reference to the website that I want to connect to. So I would say spclient.web, 
I call it my web equals ctx dot web then sp client dot list and I call it products list equals my web dot lists dot get by title and the title of that list if you remember it was products after getting the reference to the products list I need to create a camel query object so I would say uh, sp client dot camel query I call it my query equals new sp client camel query after I have my query object I need to feed it with the query XML so I would say my query dot view XML equals so I get my camel query from txt query dot text after this is done I can simply start querying it so I would say uh, products list dot get items and the get items accepts my query I need to put it in a variable of type sp client dot list item collection I call it my products and that's pretty much it all we need to do is just using the context loading the my products to execute query ctx dot execute query and probably as you know up to this point no communication is happening to the server this is the point that actually all these comments are packaged in one set of commands and at this moment they go to the server when the job is done all I need to do I need to navigate through all the items that you are returned and they are placed into my products so let's put a for each loop sp client dot list item and I call it itm for example in uh, my products and right after that I can put it in a variable called results for example string result equals string dot empty in the beginning and right after that I would say result plus equals itm title cast it to string and environment dot new line for good message box dot show and it's going to be result we are done in our coding so as you can see we define a context we make a reference to the web we get the reference to the list then we define a query object we read the query from the text box and we just use the get items and I pass the query to the list reference that we created we load the products we execute and we have all the results let's run and test the project to run and test the project let's press Control F5 to write my query I'd rather come here inside an XML file and use the Visual Studio XML editor to go through it. If you are inside the XML editor, let's write our query. We define a view here, and inside the view, we define our query. For the query, I need to specify the where condition. Under where condition, I define my comparison equals and field reference. Uh, name of the column I'm looking for title and the value that I'm looking for is type text 
and I'm looking for, for example, we copy and let's run it here and click on execute and here is the result. Thank you for watching, subscribe and happy coding.